Texas Roadhouse over here, they ain't, ain't hitting no, on nothing. The one, at least the one that's closest to me, like, because I'm like, I think 30 minutes from Charlottesville, give or take a few minutes. So, like, back at Christmas, the whole family, we went out to look at lights and whatever. And then after that, everybody was like, we should go out and get something to eat. And mm-hmm. then no one, no, no one knew where they wanted to go to eat. So they were looking at me. They was like, what do you think? And I was like, now y'all want to know what I think. I, I thought that we should have just done something different and gone to a different place to look at lights, but no, nobody would listen to me. So whatever. I was like, yo, <laughs> let me just go to Texas Roadhouse. I ain't been in like, let me, let me like use this disclaimer. I haven't been to Texas Roadhouse in years. Like it's been years. It's, like, especially to that you, location. You ain't been so, since they had the uh since they had the little peanuts on the ground and stuff. Yeah. Oh man, I went in there. You know, I, I went that. in there. I went in there and that was the first thing I thought I was gonna see was the was the peanuts on the floor. And I was cause I was talking to my wife, I was like, yo, man, they let you throw peanuts on the floor. It's like cool as shit. And like we walk in and it's nothing. So I was like, okay, I guess they got rid of that. Took nah, forever yeah. to see the, yeah, the we go and sit down. And as soon as we sit out. down, like as soon as we sit down, like we're waiting for our food to come there or whatever. And we're waiting and waiting and waiting. Like we got there like two hours before they close. The the girl to come over and give us our like like take our drinks or whatever. It was like she takes forever to come back. I think that I think that bitch was over in the corner, like arguing with her boyfriend on the phone or something like that. <laughs> she took forever to come back, she bring our drinks back, and there's like black stuff in there. She's like, "Yo, man, it's probably just like coffee grounds, or whatever." I'm like, "Bitch, ain't nobody at this table order coffee. It is nine thirty at night. What are you doing?" Yo, you got some it? black tar heroin in your shit. The gas lighting was crazy because it was like, yo, man, that's just that's just some coffee grounds, and then don't even worry about it. You still, I'm like, no. So we took forever to get, and then like took forever to come take our order. Bought us our food, didn't bring no utensils. I'm like, yo, bitch, how am I supposed to eat a salad with my bare hands? You in the back cussing at your boyfriend on the phone, and I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I gonna eat. So that was that, and I like I got a steak or what I got it like I forget what type of steak I got, but the shit came back tough, man. I couldn't even eat it. It was just a horrible experience. The tables had food on them already, and like this is the kicker. Like this is like the like this is like some passive aggressive like shit. So we were waiting to get like the rest of our stuff, like to get like boxes or whatever, so we could leave. Okay, so. We're sitting there waiting for them to bring the boxes, waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, they brought the boxes. But in the meantime, I was watching. I forget what I forget who was playing. I think it was like the I think it was like a Lions game or something was on TV. They were they were like literally in the middle of closing up. This bitch comes over, picks their remote up, like literally makes eye contact with me, turns off the TV. I was like, (laughs) I was like, yo, raggedy, raggedy mother. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, yo, literally like, well, I'm in the middle of watching it. Turn back at me. Look at me. Turn off the TV. I was like, yo. Damn, blood. Well, that's your Texas Roadhouse. You know what I'm saying? That's because you right nah, next to the nah, 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 porches. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I got, nah, I got them back. Because you see, I like, when when I would go, when like when I was a kid and I would go to my grandmother places, like if they was fucking up, she called the 1-800 number. So I do that. I can't yeah. tell you how much free shit I got. Dope. Oh, my experience wasn't like that this Sunday. Yo, man, everything was efficient. I don't know what's going on with Texas Row House, but uh, in um, the city that we are, me and Graham reside in, like the, the, you guys are efficient, especially on Sundays, because you know there's nothing that black people love more than a cheap steakhouse, especially after church. Church for sure. No, we <laughs> like, but we hit, we hit, we hit, we hit Texas Row House like right, right before the rush hit. You know what I mean? So we, we already got our tables and we already did all that. Wasn't the deal like, you want to pick your steak? I'm like, no, bitch. I don't know what the fuck I want yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me sit down and look at the menu. Wish I'd have did that. But but like like they 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 pump you full of bread. And then it's like, and then they pump you full of bread and that cinnamon butter. Yo. And then like they, they, just, they yo, just keep giving it to you. Like, yo, here. Yo, here, you here. can't just say niggas was pumping and giving it to you. Pick one or the other, bro. No. Well, I had I had cinnamon bread and cinnamon butter in the middle of that. You know what I'm saying? You just decide to neglect that. See, that's a tongue on your hat. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't we try don't we try to rule my Texas Row House experience, you know what I'm saying? Just because you got hit with um systemic racism at yours, all right? 
They had nothing to do with me. I got to watch my game that I watched, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was the Kyrie game when he hit the one hand floater to win. You know what I mean? Oh, the left handed one? Yeah, the, the, hand left, the left hand push shot. Yeah, so we was right, right around there. But but it's like an assembly line, especially like on Sunday mornings with black people would have birthday parties and shit because all like there's no meal over thirty five dollars. So that's what that's what we love, baby. <laughs> as long as not over thirty seven dollars, be good. We can give them a forty and be good. And cause they you got know it's uh, out of there. it's Benson and Miss Cheryl's anniversary this weekend. It's just, you want to go over to the Texas? I mean, you program. know, you know, Benson, Benson loves his rib. He loves he loves his steak. He loves his ribeye. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, what I'm saying medium oh, well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, listen. Also, listen. Getting your steaks medium well is no no different than getting your shit well done. Grow up, be a man. So, all right, man. A nigga want to be chewing what for hours, man. Guys? Hit the button. What, what, what else? <laughs> okay, so, but pull all your wisdom teeth out with a with a steak. You know what I'm saying? Because you wanted to be sh- <laughs> like beef jerky. All right, hitting the button. Tell him, I probably send your wish to give me some chicken. If you ain't know it, love me, it's your list. Ladies and gentlemen, people with jobs, people without jobs, middle class, upper class, high class, all that, cats, snakes, chickens, ducks, elderly people, and twerkers, we present to you another episode of the Public Enemies Podcast. This is 299. I go by the name, oh my God, Graham. That's the Waco kid. Ooh, and I pointed right this week. You feel me? I did it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got it down. Anyways, Trap McAfee's in the building as well. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with you guys? How y'all feeling? Y'all here. Yeah, here alive, black and alive. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. WrestleMania season. Hold on, David Johnson mm-hmm. said what? Shout out to my fellow. Yo, grow up. <laughs> like, yo, grow up. My fellow well done state eaters. Like, nah, y'all, yo, nah, bro. Up. Y'all don't love y'all don't love yourselves, man. Why don't you just you just you could chew on a brick for 30 minutes if you want to, but like, nah, I'm trying to cut into it. Yeah, whatever, whatever. But yeah, I'm good, man. How y'all doing, man? God. Fantastic, mm-hmm. exquisite. Right. Exuberant. Exuberant. Yeah, Exuberantly. All them words that yeah. T.I. be using. All of them. All of um, them. So, Graham, how you doing, man? In the Avon Barksdale um, beanie. Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm feeling, feeling all right, man. Feeling all right. What's today? Today's Thursday? You can see it in my eyes. <laughs> you see eyes that I can't see. <laughs> Hey, I'm good, man. I'm good. I hope y'all are doing well. Shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to everybody watching. That's 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 great. I'm feeling great. I hope uh, uh hope you are too. I'm just chilling, man. Uh full transparency. Uh we did plan to have uh Kaz on the show from the Ring of Wrestling, Mass Man Show. Uh of course, Emmy Award winning. You feel me? I thought we was gonna have an Emmy Award winning guest also. Oh. Unfortunately, uh he did get called on assignment and uh we got a reschedule. So uh we'll try to deliver that to you uh another time. But today, uh that gives us an opportunity, I guess, to open up conversation a little bit more, talk with y'all and uh see what y'all think about what's been going on in the world of wrestling, you know what I'm saying, as we do. Yeah, man, we'll go ahead and turn it up. Man, man, blame it on Jalen Brunson, that's crazy. That's hilarious. Uh, Let's go ahead and get into small package news. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ronda Rousey uh, recently has been saying that uh, she's uh, not going back to the WWE. And she mentioned, uh, I guess, all the, uh, what did she say? She was talking about all the uh, sexual allegations in WWE and how the uh, top executives are nasty and disgusting. And of course, we all know this. This isn't anything that we're not already talking about right now. But I guess she's got an autobiography coming out. And uh, so she's oh, got. Don't yeah. say. <laughs> so she's, say uh, what? I think it's called. Uh, I think it's called our fight, and uh, she's gonna go ahead and reveal more uh, about her time in the WWE. Uh, she you, said you something to, about uh, Bruce Pritchard and uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah, please go ahead. Why not? You want me to read the quote? 
I didn't want you to read it yet, but go ahead. Okay, nah, nah, nah. You go ahead. You go. Just let me know. Nope. Just let me go know. Ahead, Give go me the signal. Go ahead. Oh, you're good. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Gotta, you know, clear my throat. Yeah, pause. that's gross. Well, he about to, he about to I said pause. <laughs> I said pause. I, I, I blessed it. <laughs> it says, how much of an absolute shit show it is at WWE? Because they can't hold a sword over my head or hold me hostage with my own career. And I don't need anything from them. I don't intend going back. So I actually say everything I think and feel where everybody else is still being held captive by their organization. Bro, Ron, uh, didn't didn't Becky just drop a book when she was talking about shit? Or she was no, like literally her, saying, she said, where she was talking age. about, nah, she was talking about how uh, Bianca came backstage after she returned at SummerSlam and she was crying about, you know, dropping the title. But yeah. then, like, this also kind of makes, like, her statement when she did, I think she did, like, she did an interview with Ariel Hawani, or was it with, um, or was it Ryan Satin? Yeah, both I can't remember. I did, it was with one of them where she was basically saying, like, caping for what happened at that SummerSlam, where she Becky, was like, yo, man, if I would, yeah. Becky, yeah, Becky, where she was like, yo, if I came out there and I would have, and we would have had a real match and I would have beat her, then everybody still would have been upset that I beat her. And they would have been more upset because we had a long match and I beat her for the title and I just came back. I'm like, and then you get in the book and you kind of like, yeah, she came back and she was crying and I, yo, and it was wild. So, which is it? <laughs> I mean, it's what, like, that's what these books is for. Like, like Rhonda having a book, like, I'm pretty sure she's been asked about the WWE in her last 100 interviews, and then we ain't hear about nothing until now. So, like, I'm saying it's always good, you know what I mean, saying to put a little sauce on it when you got a book coming out. So I didn't know about the book coming out that she has going on. But, like, I I respect, like, listen, Ronda, Ronda is Ronda. Like, you can, she's polarizing. You can love her. You hate her. But her statements – about like you know what i'm saying it was like everything well everything what was going on over there is cool but like this hurt like i would never go back there like come on cuz like you was mad that niggas was booing you when you was a good guy like you didn't know like <laughs> like you was a wrestling fan and it didn't know that sometimes wrestling fans boo the good the the the, the baby face so like i don't like i understand that you want to pile on like i'm sure like and, and like I, I this is just me like uh like nothing like if, if something's gonna happen to her when you have like an absolute mur like we are a family of murderers you know what I mean? <laughs> like, listen, I'm doing what I want. You know what I'm saying? You ain't touching me, cuz. Because, like, like, the timing is wild because, like, all this stuff happened, like, a few weeks ago. And even, like, back when the stuff happened originally, you weren't under contract. So you could have said something back then. But now, because you got a book coming out, oh, niggas can't hold it over my head. Oh, niggas can't tell me what to do. Can't tell me what to say. You punk-ass niggas, they can tell you what to say and tell you what to think. But they can't. Like, how come you just saying it now? Because you got a book coming out? You're going to be like, hey, Vince McMahon ain't shit. Guess what, motherfucker? We knew this shit a long-ass time ago. Like, yo. And, like, I, 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 Vince McMahon been ain't shit since before I was born. On. Yo, <laughs> like, this nigga been evil. We been knew that. Graham, what do you, what's your take on it? I think Ronda Rousey is hilarious. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm not going to read her book. But <laughs> salute to her. Definitely not. <laughs> I already that knew that she felt like this. You feel me? But I know, you know, I don't know. There was also something about. Uh, lastly, I'll go ahead and wrap on this. Something about. Uh, she was saying that she also uh, had like was hiding her concussion history, as far as you know being able to perform or whatever. And she got Bro. either she got tired of doing that or you know right. whatever the case may be but right. that also like, factored into her kind of cutting her career short as right. well you've seen the concussion history that holly Holm and um amanda new has put on you like <laughs> we were aware before we signed you big dog <laughs> like, we saw brock lesher back three times when he got murdered by Kane velasquez and also yeah. Overy. like also over that doesn't mean that we know about all of her concussions though but she's a, she's a she's a decorated olympian like that come, look, listen, I respect. Hey. Listen, good luck, Rhonda. <laughs> nah, bro. Hey. Cause like, I'm, right. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, yo, niggas, niggas do not care about like anything that Chris Benoit showed you, niggas. You talking about, yeah, man, concussion. Like, I'm gonna go out there and perform with a concussion. I get tired of concussion protocol. This nigga, like, yo, they got a concussion protocol for a reason, bro. 
Stop it. We can't do that shit no more. We just like, like, hey man, like, yeah. you, like, yo, what, how many fingers am I holding up? All right, nigga, you good yeah. to go. Going out there, like, bro, nah. Uh, I ain't. We Listen, don't do whatever, that no more. Whatever Ronda went through, I respect it. Mm-hmm. You can move on, man. No, set a book, man. I ain't reading that shit either. Or Becky's. I ain't reading none of you niggas' books, cuz. Put it on the audio. That's what 50 did. Don't read Hope books. on the New York Times. Yeah. Reading books ain't cool. No, reading no reading is always cool. Reading, like, reading like, you have to like nigga. No, 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 no. no we're Take not doing look. this right now. Look. It's in a book. There, there's reading, always there's always you're reading Rainbow theme song don't slap no more. Like nah, you know nigga, like, we outside of Barney's and Nobly, nigga. Lavar, not that guy no more. What's wrong with y'all? Anyways, salute to Rhonda. Whatever she's gonna do, congratulations. Uh, also, congratulations to Shayna Baszler. She's gonna be performing at Bloodsport uh, WrestleMania weekend, facing off against Masha Slamovich. This is a very interesting uh, collaboration here because WWE is allowing uh, Shayna to perform at this event. Um, and th- there's a possibility that there's other WWE superstars that might have an opportunity to perform on other indie events, WrestleMania weekend as well. Uh, but this one is uh, this one's going to be one of them ones. I'm telling you right now. So salute to Shayna Baszler and Masha uh, for getting this one done. It's a WWE and TNA collaboration on GCW, the collective Thursday, April the 4th. So what do you guys think about that? Is it interesting? Uh, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what do you, what's up? What's up? What's up? They tried to, you know what I'm saying? They tried the blood sport thing with Raw Underground. So. Nah, dog. I mean, <laughs> I gonna do the that. real thing. But they had shit in the base of all that rock underground for like three minutes. <laughs> and then when she smoked shorty, they was like, oh, well, well, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go get Dabakato in here some more. But you know, what shade of base would beat up shorty? No more women got in there. Like, Cause who the fuck want to get in there with that fucking problem, nigga? <laughs> like, you kidding me? Yeah, me and Marsha, yo, I like this shit. Yo, you working together? Get all get everybody over there, dog. This is, I need, I need, I need some, I need some bruise away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bruise away, got to punch somebody in their mouth. You know what I mean? Like get, like get Ilya up in there. Speaking of punching people in their mouth, uh, <laughs> nice triple segue. A, triple mania. <laughs> Nick Nimitz is going to be facing off against uh, El Patron Alberto Alberto Del Rio uh, triple mania at the Monterey Joint. You feel me? Uh, April twenty seventh. Yeah, uh, I, I saw the poster for this. I was like, yo, first of all, having Alberto Del Rio front and center on your promotions, uh, you yo. know, what I'm biggest event, I mean, <laughs> front and uh, center, that's his, like, that's, come that's, on, that's, bro, that's, like, that's his, that's his country, nigga. That's like, nasty, listen, like, whatever, hey, that's nasty. whatever you got going on up there, got nothing to do with us, big dog. Come right back, right back down here. I'm gonna pull this up real quick because I want I want to show y'all something. That nigga Alberto ain't look like that in eight years. Stop it. Never. <laughs> For real, bud. Look, take this 2012 <laughs> look, Alberto Del Rio out of here. This is not him. That's he is, crazy. He is, like, he is, he is, he is aged like, like guacamole outside. Hey, but this not long-term booking? No, man. Long-term <laughs> booking for what? <laughs> Nicholas and, and Alberto. <laughs> Yo. Nah, bro. Like, yo. Didn't like, uh, Alberto kick him and give him that concussion when he was? Uh, yeah. Chilling? Oh, he gives him a concussion in front of his home country, who doesn't like him anyway. Oh, I mean, he might be the king of Mexico. There you go, man. I don't know. Uh, if you're gonna watch that, congratulations to you. Yeah, I am bro. not. I uh, however, if you want to talk about something that we're all likely gonna watch, uh, WWE did announce that on April the first, uh, Becoming Immortal, Bray Wyatt is gonna be a Peacock original documentary. Uh, of course, uh, based on the life and times of uh, Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda, um, you know, uh, and this, uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I think this leads into speculation that he might also be announced for the Hall of Fame uh, as well. I don't want to, you know, lean too much into that. Uh, but the idea again, uh, right? of the documentary, yeah, his dad's going to go in uh, for the second time as well. Uh Uh, Not as well, but for the second time uh, this upcoming year for the Hall of Fame. Yes. Um, But uh, this uh, documentary, you guys interested? You guys saw the uh, the trailer for it? Make you emotional. I am. I am. 
Oh man, documentaries, man. Like since, we, since I'm a grown ass man, you know I'm saying I know things. Some things make me cry. You don't read books. You don't watch documentaries. What's no, up? With no, you? I'm not even talking. Look, what the fuck is this? You're not gonna put words in my mouth, <laughs> nigga. Like 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 a, one of these SVU lawyers, Graham. All right, you know what I'm saying I know what I, I said. Know. And I said whatever. <laughs> no, man, this, yeah. this documentary just be crushing my heart. Like man, somebody. Oh man, this is gonna rip my heart out, man. Nah, nah, you, you nah, nah, you're not good. lying. I think, they, I think they're gonna do it right though. Yeah, like I like from the from the clips and everything that was showing in there, they're letting they're gonna let JoJo talk. We're gonna see behind the scenes footage of like him like with the um funhouse and everything like that. Five five fun house funhouse match at WrestleMania and all that. And uh, but for real, if they were gonna put him in the hall of fame, I think we should have got the announcement a while ago, like to be like a last minute surprise, like oh yeah, last second he's going in. I feel like he should have been the headliner, like if you were gonna put him in, put him in before Paul Heyman. If you want to throw anybody in at the last second, you could throw Paul Heyman at the last second. But I think like having him like as a heavy hitter or whatever, and you, like coming off of what what happened, I feel like you should have like said this before. Hmm. I can understand that. Yeah, like just the uh, said, like this is his dad's first Hall of Fame entry and his uncle Barry. Oh, oh okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, mistaken. Yeah, yeah, IRS yeah, yeah, not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I don't think he's. In, I don't think he's in there yet. Okay. okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. But, you know, my bad. My bad. Listen, correction, listen, correction's not punishment. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm open to being wrong. You feel me? I'm definitely open to being wrong. I thought it was the same thing, and I'm supposed to be the um, the rest, the fish not on this motherfucker, or the one that just get high and watch old shit. But uh, he's, he's in the uh, he's in the pro wrestling hall of fame, but uh, as IRS yeah. or as Mike Rotunda? Probably as Mike Rotunda. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Well, yeah, man, go. I'm, I'm going to. Well, I got to get all the brown look of that day. Like, oh my god, I'm just gonna be like, Ooh, look at my son, look at my son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This was a good time. You guys want to switch gears? Yeah, man, let's get happy. Yeah. The following contest scheduled for one fall. <laughs> AW man, uh, two new champions crowned. On dynamite this week, Okada is your new. Let's start there. Let's start there. Okada is your new AEW Continental Champion. You defeated uh, Eddie Kingston uh, here in a Continental, uh, I guess, Continental Classic Rules match where it's no interference. It's got to be what is it, thirty minute time limit or whatever? You know, I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> Okada was like, whatever, nigga. <laughs> Give me the belt. <laughs> Give me the belt, man. Wait, 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 listen, yo, in my contract, right there is going to be in bold letters under third my... match. <laughs> <laughs> no less than. <laughs> Run it up. <laughs> yeah, like, which one of these niggas got belt? Which one of you? Which one of these niggas you want me to kill? Like, oh, well, you know Eddie Kingston, you know. Well, I got to be. I'll like, start there. Yeah. He got put a on it. <laughs> That's man. crazy. Like Eddie went through the whole tournament, like had the comeback and everything like that. There was like Okada coming in. Yeah. He's gonna beat the shit out of you first night, bro. Sorry. Yeah, he just beat <laughs> he just beat uh Brian Danielson, nigga. <laughs> For the same yeah. shit. Yeah, like, he, also, just, he just earned this like, nigga's respect in the whole match. I don't know, man. This, this, might be the, this might be the downfall of uh, the Mad King right here. You feel me? Because at uh, crazy. Supercard of Honor, he's got to face Mark Briscoe for the ROH title. So it looks like he going he to lose all these joints one by one. And they just, then what? What you got? New Japan oh, Strong no, title? Do they even something. still have New Japan Strong events? I'm leaving here with something, nigga. <laughs> I'm you gotta, gotta, you gotta no figure clue. it out, P. Yeah, you gotta figure it out, man. But what y'all think about Okada as the new Continental Champion? Y'all, y'all rocking with it? Y'all rolling with it? Looks um, like Pac came um, out to uh, challenge him after. I like that. Yeah, like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm ro- I'm rocking with it because like the way that he holds the belt and everything like that was like, yo, man, I, I take this shit. But it's beneath me, but I take <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the way he held the belt, it was like, eh, yeah, it is, I got it. I guess. I think he was the more excited went about. Off. Uh, he was more excited about that uh that Ferrari he got. Yeah, nigga, Yo, for real, really? nigga. Why not, nigga? Like this yeah, is a new like me. A million, there's like a million belts over here. How many Ferraris I'm gonna get over here? It's a scarce. Let's turn man, it up, I man. Wasn't, nigga, I, I wasn't with the nothing experience. like this in Japan. Nigga, I wasn't I wasn't going through the streets of Japan like this, nigga. 
Go ahead. Anything that I want should get should go to me. Why not? Give it to me. We treat this shit yeah, like man. the Mortal Kombat tournament. I'm gonna take all the belts on the way. I mean, a... you think he you think he goes on like a, a belt collection? You think he holds this and him and uh when Kenny comes back, they try to make this title feel more important. Uh, yeah, you know what? Tony Khan said something about basically what's going to happen here is uh, Tony Khan Continental. Because I mean, mm -hmm. you can turn that belt into the into their version of the Intercontinental Championship. Because all right, so this is how the, the Continental the, Championship is going to be handled going forward. I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, Tony Khan right. says it will be defended uh, by itself under Continental Classic rules. No outside interference. Whoever is the champion after full gear will gain automatic entry into the Continental Classic and have to win the tournament to retain their crown. New winner will be crowned at World's End. Uh, yeah. What? Nigga, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse we got me? An in season, we got an in-season tournament. Put nigga, the banner got, up, nigga. Nigga, you got me <laughs> fucked up, nigga. Like, wait, wait. So, wait, 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 wait. So, I did all this shit, and then we're going to have another, like, you get to be automatically entered into the tournament. Like, why am I in the tournament, nigga? I'm the champ, nigga. I got to defend this shit every way. Yo, what? Yo, that's some, that's some fucking, all right. I respect it, but, you know what I mean? That's some pure shit right there. I got Shibata like winning it. this year. I like uh, it. Speaking of Shibata, Shibata will be facing off against uh, Will Ospreay next week. Uh, Ospreay called him out. Uh, yeah. you I think he came out and at us again for like another 10 minutes. Man, yeah, I man. rock with Ospreay, man. Yo, he, I love that he, shit, nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. He cooking. I'm, I'm Yo, rolling. I'm convinced. He's the I was, I was convinced maybe before he came in there. Like I don't know they're gonna let him run around and start yelling at niggas and shit. Like, oh yeah, sure. all you gotta do is put a fancy you. accent on that shit, man. Niggas gonna like that shit, man. And, and you fuck, like when you can deliver in the like you can literally say whatever you want. That's what he's been doing. He's been talking this shit. Like, Listen, man, I don't give a fuck. Like you fill your shoes, fuck your shoes. <laughs> Feet too big for your shoes, old goat. <laughs> like what's your shoes got to do with? Listen, man, show up, cuz. Because I'm beating your ass. I'm beating your body ass, too. Pull Brian up. Danielson even said, uh, I don't know if this was an interview with Sports Illustrated. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, he said uh, if Will Ospreay wanted today, he could have a Brian Danielson match. But he doesn't think that he could have a Will Ospreay match and do the things that Will Ospreay does right now. Actually, you know what I wanted to ask you, Ben? And not to Shoot. really too, too much. Um, Go ahead. Do you have any concern about Shibata going into this match with Will Ospreay next week, given his history? Nah, not really. Like, Shibata, he not the same as he was before in Japan, because this nigga, he was just, like, ramming his head into, like, in the, in the shit, pause, and, and is doing wild stuff. So he, he's he's kind of, like, lightened up a little, bit, especially, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think that, I think, like, the fact that he almost died kind of woke him up and kind of like, hey, you got to relax, bro. You wild. So, like, so, I, so Will Ospreay got to turn it down because that nigga be going 100 miles and running. You got to. It's like, it's like, yo, it's like you going out with, you going, you hanging out with a recovering like alcoholic or whatever. It's like, hey, you can't, you can't be doing too much, bro. You you gonna you gonna you gonna make this nigga fall off the wagon. This nigga get one headbutt, then two headbutts. The next thing you know, this nigga this nigga brains oozing out his nose. We can't have that. Yeah, we can't have that. You know, get that nigga. Zima. Yeah. And he's you know, get him a Zima. Thank you. We essentially have a number one contenders match next week, uh, booked with the uh, Swerve versus Kanosuke Takeshita. Um, the Don Callis basically was like, the winner of this match should be able to face Samoa Joe. So there you go. Um, why? I don't know. I don't know but, anyone can take over, but you know, whatever. I mean, listen, oh. Swerve's pretty much been in. I, you know, I haven't seen Tony Khan drop no rankings. <laughs> and like, what happened to the rankings, guys? Remember when we were know, talking man. about the rankings? Oh yeah, let's get back to the rankings, yo. yo it was who, back. Who's what number happened? one? Who's I don't number know, one? Man. That, that's that's the nigga talking to Swerve's got to have another one, right? number one contenders match. Didn't him and Hangman just do this? But why man, the fuck am I the one <laughs> having a number one contenders match where I was literally about to win this shit and then another nigga lost? That's not how it goes. 
Yeah, man. That's not how it goes. Yeah. Hey, I mean, like, I'm yeah, like, if they really do another match against like them against each other or any capacity, a triple threat, uh, like a one on one, let this shit go, man. It, it mm. was cool at first, but you're running it into the ground. Mm. I don't need to see. I don't need to see this match anymore. Let it be done. <laughs> Let it be finished. But uh, yeah, man, I'm, I I don't want to see this match no more. Just give it. Just let let Swerve have it hey. and be done with it. Speaking of stuff that we don't want to see no more, Shoot. even though I thoroughly enjoyed this Adam Copeland versus Christian Cage three the I quit match mm. new TNT champion. Uh, Adam Copeland finally wins uh, the title for the second time, actually. The second time. Yeah, uh, yeah, two times. <laughs> because, you know, Luchasaurus, or, my bad, kill shot. That's his name cause. now? Dinosaur Cuz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that nigga yeah. change your name, Cuz? Man, man, listen. Be me. Kill shot is a slave name. This match was super overbooked. <laughs> They was fighting you know in a penalty box with the, you know, what I'm saying the, the the jerseys on and all that. Go ahead, Ben. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I, I like yo before. Like we already know on this show what I said about the match. I was like, I don't want to see this shit. Move on from it. Let it. I, I said the same thing I said about Swerve versus Hangman. I was like, let it be done. And then I watched the match, and it like Graham said, it was <laughs> overbooked. It was overbooked. He is right. It was overbooked, but. I loved all of that shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. It was it was fantastic. I was like, yo, these niggas fighting in the penalty box and they wearing jerseys. The nigga, like at the end of the match, he pulls out the big uh the the, the stick with spike. the with the no, nails the spike. on spike. <laughs> I was like, I love all of this cartoonish Looney Tunes like stuff going on in wrestling. Like it has a place, like there's a place for it. Of like violent like stuff like where you can kind of pass it off as like something like that and i, I loved it fucking uh kill shot gets involved nick wayne gets involved mother wayne gets involved low blows edge uh excuse me adam copeland uh then you get the run-ins with uh daniel garcia matt menard um and then uh somebody else was there too i'm tripping i'm uh, i'm blanking on uh who else was there to to kind of counteract uh the patriarch uh mm-hmm. but uh yeah they all came to came the to fucking, his aid and fucking piece of wood with the with the nails in it you know what I'm saying that's always a good you know what I mean teammate <laughs> you know, he was like yo but, nigga I will kill you if you don't look, listen say I quit look I'm not playing with you anymore like that that's that's exactly what like a like my big cousin used to do to me we used to look, like listen I'm really gonna punch you in your fucking head right now because if you don't you don't stop like like I'm really like you're handcuffed like I'm really gonna kill you right now like say I quit so I can get my belt back please all right, all right, all right. I quit. All right, stupid. <laughs> Get on my nerves. What's up with Jermaine? What's happening? What's up, Josh? Salute to the chat, man. What's going on with y'all? That's Damn, man. Man. Now, moment, now right? you gotta, yeah. Now you gotta move up off of this. Like, yo, just because I gave you grace on that match and like everything like that, you gotta move up off of it. It looks like they're probably moving towards like. Adam Copeland versus Daniel Garcia because they kind of look like looking at each other after everything was over, and I guess that's the way they're going. I mean, as long as it's not another Christian match in any like variation or anything like that, I'm cool. Yeah, fight Nick Wayne now, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good money with it. Uh, let's talk about uh, Mercedes. Thunderosa. Oh. Let's talk about Mercedes. Uh, I, I mean, listen, there you go. Thunder Rosa and Deanna Perrazzo defeated Timeless Tony Storm and Mariah May. You got like an extended conversation you want to have about that? No, I mean, like, Deanna Perrazzo didn't look too happy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, hey, I can man. see that shit. I can Thunder see that Rosa, shit. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you I'm just here. got here. Nigga, this is my belt that I didn't lose because, like, listen, I don't give a fuck what you do. This, I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't give a fuck how close you got to beating her. You know how close I was to getting the belt? It was mine. That hurt my back. <laughs> it was mine. <laughs> you know, that's how close I was. I was literally holding it like, like for months and shit and bled for this shit. Like, I don't give a fuck how you feel. Like, you want to fight me? You sure? Because you couldn't pin her. I just pinned her off of her best move. Like, you could even pin her off. Of, like, listen, man, that shit was funny. So I enjoyed that part of it. So that's all I want to say about that. But yeah. I'm ready for the matches. Thunder Rosa. Here's something else for you to enjoy. Um, let me see if I can grab it here. 
uh, four things to know from your CEO. Everybody, it is the CEO, Mercedes Monet, and these are the four things to know with the CEO. Number one, your desires matter. Because whatever you desire in your life, you are the visionary, you are the CEO, so I want you to go out and do that. So number two, don't let people put labels on you. Don't let people put you in boxes. And if they try to, jump out of them. Get out of it and unwrap yourself because we don't need to put labels on ourselves. It's already hard enough living in this world. I just want you to be yourself. Number three, hate. Now, I get a lot of hate, but I also get a lot of love. And what do we do to get over hate? We're gonna turn that hate into fuel. If people hate you, that means you're doing something great. And at number four is to be your number one advocate. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and cannot do. You have to follow your intuition, follow your heart. It's always going to lead you to exactly where you need to be. So everybody, keep on going out there and being the CEO of your life. And I love you. Oh my God, why is she so fucking perfect? Oh my God, man. Yo, all the hate turned into an Hadouken. And you know what I'm saying? Be your own Paul Heyman. She said, be Bro. your own Paul Heyman, y'all. Be your own Paul Heyman and turn all the hate into a Hadouken. And then you'll be just fine in the world. How do you spell Hadouken? You know what I'm saying? H-A-D-O-U-K-E-N. That's probably like one of them little um squiggly lines on one of the letters on there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hadouken. Let's say like over the U. like Probably like the U with the two uh, dots over the... um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I just just checking, just checking. I just wanted to know. Or you can take the U uh, out like a double O, like Dookie. You know what I'm saying? Like how Dookie. You know what I'm saying? I I'm not gonna lie. I kind of got, I kind of got like a little excited when she was like, "Hate." I thought she was gonna be like, "Yeah, you gotta hate." So you gotta hate on some of these niggas out here, man. We gonna teach you about real hate coming from the soul. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> count me in." But then she was just giving self help. But it looked like she had some hate coming for them to soul for uh for Willow. It was a lot of hate. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh she actually uh was finna get attacked by uh Julia Hart and uh Sky Blue when Chris Statlander and Willow Nightingale came out for the save with chairs in hand. Uh Willow seemed to be, I don't know, maybe a little that I shouldn't I you feel me I should knock this you feel me one time for the one time but uh she decided against it because uh I don't know Mercedes turned around and was like was you gonna hit me was you gonna hit me me I think this is an interesting dynamic because it does continue uh off of their their of course New Japan strong match for the for the women's championship, which Mercedes was scheduled to win uh due to injury. Uh she of course made the audible to have Willow in that. And uh just you know, continuing off of that, just based off of you know, Mercedes basically is gonna blame her for this uh Definitely. near uh career ending, you know, injury here. So um, uh it, so is Mercedes going to be heel or is Willow going to be the one that that turns she's, here? She's already well, Willow's already been on the path of um of a uh, heel. Well, maybe not a heel turn per se, but like she's been the one that like you know Chris Statland has been the one that's like oh ooh, ooh, we got to do it right by the book and shit. And Willow's like nah nigga like I'm trying to win cause and you got Stokely there just being the greatest manager of all time. Right, Steven Victor of wrestling. He's a Steven Victor of wrestling. So, I mean, mm-hmm. she's already on the path, so she can already rock. Like, if, if Willow leans into that shit, like, yeah, I did that shit so well, you're going to lose anyway. And now that you could have beat me, you hurt yourself like you usually do. Like, you know how them niggas like, yo, you got to go far. Right. Like, nigga, yo, you always hurt yourself. Nigga. Like, how you going to blame me for something that you already do? John yeah, like you usually like you usually do is crazy, bro. <laughs> and I'm not oh. gonna lie to you. That that made me want to fight too. And it's not even me, like you usually do. Hey, Drew McIntyre gotta use that one. If Mercedes not gonna use it, and then send the check too, because we're not doing shit for free. Uh I'm not I'm not mad at, at Willow turning heel or if uh Mercedes uses this as some like momentum to turn heel to be like I, I love a good justified heel storyline where it's like yo I'm in the right this whole time but the crowd turned on me because they didn't like my methods of how I went about it 
Like, hey, if you're gonna go through that, you could definitely play with this storyline, like 100. percent And I and by the way, if you get Stokely in that, like, because he's obviously he's involved in it, this man be just doing shit, just saying shit. He was like, hey, you know, you injured her the first time, so <laughs> she was like, not now, nigga. Well, he's been trying to get them to pull underhanded tactics already, anyway. Yeah. So maybe maybe Willow turns completely heel and he's like he breaks away from Statlander. He's like, yo, man, I'm exclusively managing her. Or yeah. maybe he's like, yo, man, y'all too clean cut. Mercedes like turn Mercedes like turns heel and he like goes over and maybe he represents Mercedes. I don't know. Either way, that be the move. I'm what down. if Statlander turns? I mean, she she she's <sighs> good. I mean, that would be the biggest. Oh shit. She thanked yeah. Mercedes. It's she Austin. thanked Mercedes for saving Willow last week, and you know, what I'm saying? she knows she's seen that tension. You know, what I'm saying between them. So, like yeah, her Mercedes coming up and, and being all, oh, oh, and that would be, and that'll be uh, somebody that she hasn't faced yet either. You know what I mean? So that would be ooh, Mercedes, Mercedes, and, and Stereo. That would be M O N E. Get it. Uh, tag title tournament brackets have been revealed. They started the tournament, of course, already uh, with the best friends, Trent Beretta and Orange Cassidy, uh, defeating uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Kyle Fletcher on Rampage uh, last night. Uh, the Infantry defeated uh, House of Black uh, yeah. last week on Collision. Yeah. Really and so, shit. yeah, it's crazy. The Infantry will now face uh, FTR uh, coming up uh, sometime, I guess, Next week, the niggas got a uh, buy. What? I, I no, the they a won a wild card, bro. They, I just told oh. you they beat the House of Black. No, I'm talking about course, uh, FCR. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, yeah, pretty much. They're, they're not in the wild card. So yes, they're already champions. The people that have, you know, you've already got champions in here, and then you've got uh, Top Flight and Private Party who are supposed to be the, you know, the next up and coming or whatever, whatever. But Young Bucks and Private Party will be facing off next week on Dynamite uh, to continue this tournament as well. Uh, but who do you guys see winning this uh, winning this tournament? We've got uh, Top Flight and Ricky Starks. Uh, excuse me, Top Flight and Ricky Starks and Big Bill. Uh, and then uh, the Undisputed Kingdom versus uh, Best Friends as well coming up here. Um... I think if if you want the undisputed kingdom to be anything when Adam Cole gets his ankle back, then they have to win this shit. Or at least be in the finals, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like if it was me and I was I'm just an evil nigga, like the like the Bucks should just win this shit. It'd be like, yo, everybody's disqualified and I win. Like that's what I would do. But <laughs> they should I win this them. shit. I do want them to win it. I do want them to win it. Just as like a, a massive troll or whatever. I'm like, yo, yeah. y'all should win. I agree. I agree. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's extreme prejudice. Just win. Like, yeah, everybody loses. Like, I think they just showed the first night. Like, yeah, everybody loses. Ha ha. He just lost his thing. Who? He's retired. Here's a question. Here's a question. AEW, within the last month, uh, has signed uh, a UK born star, uh, uh, a Japan. A Japanese-born uh, star uh, in, in Okada, and a U.S. American-born star in Mercedes Monet. Do you think that helps them uh, increase their global footprint as a company, as an organization here on the rise, and trying to uh, sustain and gain a new uh, TV deal, and just continuing to to grow the company? I mean, who like whoever thought like signing the most popular person that you can sign right now could like help get you different deals. Like that's, I mean, business, dog. they saw, they signed the biggest free agents from each of these, you know, each of these countries, but they've been doing that. Like they've been signing, like they've been signing these new Japan niggas for, for years now. Like everything, like Tony Khan has been doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Nigga. Like I'm signing who's available. Nigga. Like, listen, I got this for you. You come over here and do like that's what it is, man. Like it's like it's helped the landscape. I hate to say landscape because that's stupid, but like yeah, man. Like getting Mercedes was the big get. Getting Will Ospreay was a big get. Definitely getting Okada was a fucking big get. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you got to fucking parlay that shit into you. Know what I'm saying what's going on in the like 
shit's running out over here because like niggas was really talking that shit and i still got these motherfuckers over here like i gotta get these other shows going on man like he's still like this is still a business dog i want to see this nigga win so like everybody can win because every like one can't win without the other so yeah, i mean man, that's everybody I mean, like, yo, like, it, it's cool that they signed it. I believe it does help them kind of branch out to more audiences. But I believe a lot of those audiences that they're that people are talking about that they're oh they're branching out to. I believe they they already had like kind of a setup already in there. I mean, we already have like a setup uh, relationship with New Japan. I think if you're a wrestling fan in the UK, you're probably watching AEW more than likely anyway. Uh, but I, maybe it helps them. Maybe I, I don't really know the analytics and all that, but uh, did you guys happen to see the the article that the New York Post put out? Uh, lightweight. I didn't read too much into what what did what did they say? They were talking about oh, like the idea of them. Yeah, yeah, they bro. said. Uh, bro, I'm sorry. WWE I'm sorry, needs to look bro. into the. They said WWE needs, needs to look in the mirror after AEW star studded free agency hall. So it's kind of on the lines of what you said. So wait, it's wait, like, wait, yo, wait. basically, should it's basically a question of saying, should they be concerned because they went over to AEW and niggas chose not to come over here? Like, should WWE be concerned because they just got these three like free agents and y'all didn't get nothing? Hey, guess what? So did the Brooklyn Nets. Remember, remember the Brooklyn Nets got three free agents? I don't think that WWE didn't get nothing, but I think that I think that because of the relationship, as we've been saying with AW and New Japan, and I said a while ago, like there was no real uh, opportunity or no real. I, I couldn't see any feasible way for uh, Osprey to join WWE instead of AW, just due to the idea that I think because aw and new japan have this relationship like why not play hot potato <laughs> with these performers you know like they want to get paid more than what we're going to be able to pay them but they still want to be able to have the freedom to come out here and you know what i'm saying do a a, a super juniors or a g1 or uh you know what I'm saying or a new japan cup or whatever the, the whatever the thing is wrestle kingdom or you know what, whatever what it honor, is you, you know whatever you feel me they want to have the freedom to, to to bounce around and all that why not be able to give that to them and why not allow them to go to AEW to to do so g nation in the chat here says tell tko stop giving folks low ball offers um yeah they could do that like this is gonna be over I mean, this is gonna be over in about 42 more days nigga. like just, just relax yo, just, go, just hold on, open up. on. Yo, yo and then salary cap will open up once the rock leaves yeah the you know what i'm saying get this, get this dead cap off you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> that's crazy you, you, no like it's not it's not like we could we literally signed cm punk and Cody Rhodes, nigga. <laughs> yeah, um, I do think that if we're entering this new era of the WWE, though, that, that they should be trying to go after some of these stars a little bit harder. Just based off of the idea of what they've been doing with all of this fan service, in my opinion, I feel like, uh, I don't know, man. This, if they're going to shift the landscape for, for what this company is perceived as, they got to make some some big grabs as far as the future of the company. I think Will Ospreay would have been a great get. I think Jay White would have been a great get, but I didn't see uh, any any real uh, the, the you thing know, about path to them joining WWE anyway. I, I, I saw the Jay White there. thing happening. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I feel like Jay White could have been in WWE. You're, what you're saying about Will Ospreay and Okada, mm -hmm. that is true, even though I wanted Okada to, to come over. You know, it, it does make more sense for them to like they already have a working relationship with New Japan. This is kind of like a little bit of step out, like their introduction to being in America full time with someone you already you already know. So yeah. I, I I understand that completely. But as far as like the contracts go for the offerings that they made, uh, CJ is absolutely right. Like, yo, we just spent money on CM Punk. We just re-signed everybody. We just brought everybody back. 
We yeah. gotta wait until some money clears up. You can't come over here and ask it for fourteen million dollars, and you not even <laughs> proven in these waters, bro. We don't know what you're gonna do. Like you love reportedly. the Mercedes and everything, like yeah, reportedly, reportedly. Still paying Shinsuke fucking four. <laughs> Yo, fast. No, there was something Yo. allegedly about Mercedes being the highest paid woman in wrestling. Let me tell you something. When these sites say. Uh, she's possibly now the the most paid woman in woman in sports entertainment or in wrestling. I don't need y'all running with that as if it's fact, because they don't fucking know. They don't. Nobody knows <laughs> anything. Everybody's business is their business. It's crazy. You only know what I tell you, and I hope it is. I do too. I do too. Um, let's see what else you guys want to talk about. That's all so I got for AEW. So what do you want to talk about? So you want to talk about what he likes to talk about, which is cuss words, nigga. <laughs> oh, God, I man. love cuss let's words, man. Yo, let's, let's jump into it. Uh, I guess we'll. It? I, I guess we'll start with the uh, the the rock concert on Friday on SmackDown. Uh, the Rock came Ooh, out there and did we. the whole thing with the uh, Memphis and uh, had the. Had the musical selection out there, the shot at Ja Morant, uh, yeah, the whoop that trick chance and all of that. Uh, it made for a dope environment. It made for a dope uh, rock concert performance. Um, ben, you wanted to say? I didn't want to. I didn't want to throw you off, and I'll let you get back to it in a second. I want y'all to know, as much as I love Trick Williams, you love Trick Williams, everybody loves Trick Williams. They were in Memphis. That shit had nothing to do with Trick Williams. No, hustle and flow. Boom, 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 boom. The Rock uh, continued his uh, Instagram promo and said that he was going to give uh, Cody Rhodes' mom his uh, bloody weight belt. Um, you know, it's going to have Cody's blood on it. And then he sang, You're Welcome, and all of that yeah, stuff. That was not nah, the, the, the looking, like the halfway look into the camera and everything like that. Just saying that, like, like I like like I be like I was like I was talking to my wife about this. I was like, "Yo, when he did the rock concert, I'm like, usually he likes to do this silly shit. He, he threw a shot at at Ja. He had the he had Stardust up there. He was talking about Cody was a mistake. And then the part that like that you know threw me off. The music stops. Full serious promo. And I said at the beginning of this, I said if he keeps the same energy that he kept at that press conference where he's just doing this shit. He kind of like, he can do, you know, his usual stick of like saying, uh, singing and like saying the the funny little uh, catchphrases and everything like that. But the, like telling everybody to stop, telling the music to stop, looking right into the camera and, and doing what he did. I loved everything about that. I loved everything about that. And also there were, after the promo was over and everything like that, there were reports coming out that, People were mad about, oh, he was cussing too much. WWE executives didn't like that because they said he cussing too much. Fans didn't like that because they said he was cussing too much. I don't know what fans these people are talking about, because but I loved it. Everybody that saw it on the timeline, they loved it too. But my thing is, y'all need to stop doing this because every time The Rock comes back and he does this, even if it's like a one-off appearance and he cusses and stuff like that, everybody acts like, oh, well, how come I get how come he gets to do it, but I can't do it? That was the other thing that that was being said. Wrestlers were like, How come he gets to cuss in his promos, but I can't cuss in my promos? Let me tell you something. You guys remember back, you, you 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 stepping on my point, but uh, yeah, that's where I was going. You remember when you do you guys remember when um LeBron was eating on the bench and everybody was like, yo. That's disrespectful to the NBA. It's disrespectful to the game. He don't love the game like that. You had a bunch of old heads, fans, and analysts, and everybody coming out the woodwork talking about LeBron this, LeBron that. Let me tell you something. If LeBron wanted to, he could have brought out a table. He could have brought out a waiter. He could have brought out a candle, a violinist, had dessert, had an entree, had a, had a, an appetizer, all that, because he's LeBron fucking James. That's The Rock. That is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. If he wants to cuss in his promos, you go, he's going to do it. You're not The Rock. I'm sorry. You talk about some, oh, well, he, well, I can't, how come I can't cuss in my promos? Ain't nobody trying to listen to your promos, nigga. Dirt sheets are like backstage heat on The Rock. Bitch. 
who got the heat? I'll fire all you niggas. Like, listen, I'll fire all you niggas, cuz. Like, listen, what am I gonna do? Find myself, nigga? Am I gonna find myself? Graham, you gonna find yourself 50 cent? Of course I am. Nigga, well, you that's well, you, about you, it yeah. though. Yeah, but you yeah, <laughs> like that is exactly that, what the rock's doing. Put it in my swear jar. You know what I'm saying? Like the rock got a swear jar. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's about it, P. Man, the UFL about to start, nigga. Like, you niggas is lucky that I'm here right now. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like, it, it, like, I think, like, at the end of the day, y'all need to realize something. Y'all, y'all not pulling, y'all not pulling in numbers like The Rock. And The Rock even commented about this. He was like, yo, man, I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. I'm just trying to get, you know, just trying to have fun. Boy said, I'm chilling, P. What's up? Because it's like you know, whoever got a problem, who gonna say it to me? Why so serious? Which one of you disgruntled wrestlers gonna come up to me and say that to my face? Because there was another report that they don't even want them cussing on social media. Dijak doesn't give a fuck because he just be, he just be rolling with everything. But hey, calling Dijak White Blade was crazy. Yo, I just want to let you know that. I just want to let you know that Ben Colin. <laughs> Dijak White Blade was hey, crazy. You should have called him T-Wolf or something, nigga. It's, it's like, absolutely true. Better, yo, White it's Blade. Absolutely true. Him, He's they definitely was calling a him at, What's his name? Uh, what was his name? Briggs? What was his name? Briggs? Caught him in his yeah, shaft. Caught him. He was like, yo, man, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm white. I was like, yo. I'm that like, yo, crazy. you say if you if you say a white shaft, you gotta say a you gotta say a pause on that. Like nigga, that word but, sound uh, right, bro. Yeah, but back <laughs> to the crazy, rocks promo. <laughs> um, I thought that he did a hell of a job. I mean, like I said uh last week or the week before, I fully take back uh my initial comment about the rock phoning it in. He's been turning up and I, I'm rolling with it. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the chat, uh, is it Cromanocle? Uh, it says, uh, Dwayne really ruined this role to WrestleMania. Damn, I don't know. I've I've been enjoying it, uh, except for the fact that I think that uh, Cody and Roman <laughs> needs to heat up a little bit more, uh, which yeah. we'll likely get uh, this upcoming Friday or tomorrow for those that of you that are listening live because they do have a face off scheduled for SmackDown. Um, but yeah, nobody's uh, this, gonna be there. Yeah, but this past Monday, what do you mean nobody's gonna be there? You crazy? This is a, this, this is a, yeah, like who's, who's gonna believe that lie? But, oh, like know. nobody's gonna be there as far as like the booking, like they said. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so let's get into that because Cody's rebuttal. What did you guys think of Cody's response to The Rock and the Little Dick Syndrome? Pro is that is that what this is gonna be called? The Little Dick Syndrome? Yeah, promo? he like, called him. He <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Yo. <laughs> is he because he, Cody's whole promo was about him breaking down the fourth wall? And if y'all don't know, yeah. he did a lot of this type of stuff on the indies, and he did a lot of this type of stuff in AEW and TNA and other places where he kind of like breaks down the fourth wall and kind of like lets you know what's going on backstage or whatever. He he accused uh the rock of having Brian Gortz shadow rap. I mean not shadow rap, sh- uh ghost write for him. He was like, yo, man. Shadow rap. Shadow rap, bro. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, my yo, brain is no. fried, yo. man. I was I mean, watching that card. shit before. Shadow rap. Nigga, I was watching that shit before. Uh, like, no, we not even, we not even, we not even. Drake feature, it, shadow rap. But like, yo, had him, had, he was like, yo, man, Brian Gord's ghostwriting for you, nigga. You weren't even calling yourself the final boss until he told you to call yourself that. He also was like, yo, man, I don't even think you're a heel. Like, he literally broke down the definition of heel during this promo. And he was like, yo, I don't think you're a heel. I think you're an asshole. And was just going in on him. And then the report came out after that. You're right, yeah, right. that's hilarious. The real JM, he took the words right out of Yo. my mouth. He said Brian <laughs> Brian Awards is Quentin Miller, and I just <laughs> thought that was crazy. Ball. I was trying to let Ben. <laughs> God damn it, that was good. That was good. Yeah, ball. Sorry, reminded. But the report came out after that where he was like, uh, where they were like, "Yo, they're making the exception and letting Cody do it." And all this is like, this is Dave Meltzer and everything like that. I'm saying so. Nobody else can cuss except for The Rock. Now they're making an exception. I'm like, which one is it, bro? But, yeah, the, the whole, like, little dick syndrome thing. And he was like, yo, man, I, I 
I like the rebuttal too. Like I'm, I'm liking this, but it furthers the point that we've been making over the last couple of weeks is Roman is getting pushed further and further and further into the background of his own story. Like he's just becoming the rock and Cody at this point featuring Roman Reigns. Oh, like on some Miz shit. Like this is like what happened to the Miz. I'm saying 2011. Like we call Roman the um the 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 back uh, the back tire on the on the on the G wagon because like at least the G like the back the back wheel on the G wagon has the name on it like it says, it says Mercedes Benz <laughs> G wagon on it but you have the title but you are just the uh the extra you are the side salad you are you are the water that comes at the table you are the bread that comes with the cinnamon butter like you are just like, oh shit Roman Reigns is here. And I think that's why they're doing this little SmackDown face to face shit, and then like nobody's going to be there, and and then so hopefully they can. <laughs> that's fucking crazy too, man. <laughs> like, I've been the most dominating factor on wrestling, and now listen, my cousin shows up. <laughs> listen, <laughs> and now nobody want to talk to me no more. No, speaking of cousin showing up, Doku in the chat. This is my little cousin. He's coming to WrestleMania with us. Uh, oh. He's been Dang. catching up on all of this bloodline shit with uh, Dude, Cody, well, one of these disenfranchised fr- uh, fans yeah. that is uh, getting back involved and uh, is excited to see what happens here with uh, Cody and Roman and The Rock and all of that. Uh, this man has been in the group chat for the last week, uh, catching up on all of the, the bloodline timeline shit. Talking about the rock slapping Cody and the Usos getting old and <laughs> noticing that they super kicks don't go as high as they used to. I mean, you know I mean, like, hold on, nah, these, mute? These, like mute over bro, there. <laughs> these are mute. some like, yo, I like, I appreciate these takes because this is like if if they covered wrestling on first take, this is definitely some shit Stephen A would say. Like, yo, man, hey, <laughs> the super kicks aren't going as high anymore. <laughs> Back in my day, when you hit a super kick, you went down for the count. They aren't even a they aren't, they aren't, they aren't even as potent anymore. <laughs> you had to tune it up. Listen, so, hey, listen, they had to so tune it up guys, back in the day. What did you guys think about the Usos uh, going back and forth and uh, Jimmy and Jay? Jimmy basically saying it was your idea to leave the bloodline. I was trying to look out for you. And this, it, it kind of feels like a little bit of revisionist history here. No, we we uh, saw that, nigga. We saw you kick this nigga first, dog. Like, stop lying to me. Like, why are you lying to my eyes right now, dog? Like, we this like this this hurts because, like, you know, I don't know if you guys know, like, it's a 15 year anniversary of the last um, brother versus brother, brother. Versus and brother. then there was 15 years before that when um, the greatest opening match of wrestling history happened at WrestleMania 10. So, like. This shit should be way like if like if niggas like niggas, this shit should be way bigger than like they should have been building this shit from the gym. As soon as they split, they should have been building this shit. And like when he fucking cost them the match, like they should have been building it from there. Like now they're just trying to make them niggas finally face each other and shit. Like for what? Like they they have been building it. Like they just gave it a slow burn because they put Jay on Monday Night Raw to kind of like because it wouldn't yeah. have made sense if you had them on the same show from SummerSlam to now because you would eventually had to make that match. But now. You kind of you you gave it some breathing room. You could revisit it. They you know see each other and every now and again. But uh, uh, bro, how many uh, times have niggas Cro- 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 since uh, and then not interacted with them niggas? Other than no, like, the he, they, they 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 have practically every time. But Chromanaco, I think you're absolutely right. Jimmy has to win this match. He he definitely has to win this match. <laughs> I like he he has to win this match. Jay Jay has had too much success. We all be expecting it. And the last time they did like a brother versus brother match at WrestleMania that I can remember cuz the last one was what Matt and um Matt Jeff. And right? Oh yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was there for that. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't think Matt should have won. I didn't think Matt should have won that shit cuz why? But th- but this one for me, I think Jimmy got it. <laughs> I don't think Matt should have won that oh. match, but you know, I want Jimmy to and, win this uh, match for the same reason that Matt won that last match. And not to, not to get off topic too much, Matt Hardy was at Monday Night Raw. He was in the Skybox. He was signing autographs, taking pictures for fans during the show, and had to leave early because people kept like forming a line to take pictures with him. Oh, and 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 um, and, and, and then Miss Revy put it on the fucking um, Instagram. But you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course, shout shout out to my queen. You know what I'm saying, let them know that I'm here, babe. The Brand new hottest the free agent, big money, Matt man. You know, big money, Matt Matt That's be old, Matt facts. That is absolutely crazy, man. Um, 
let's talk a little bit more about this uh bloodline and uh cody Rhodes stuff rikishi says uh i guess uh, it wouldn't really make sense for cody Rhodes to to win because and then what do you do <laughs> i got That's a better it. question for you nigga Nigga, I got a better question for you. If Roman wins, then what do you do, bro? What are you talking about? I get that's your family, but to a certain point, we gotta be logical, man. Like, yo, how did you like how hard did you bump your head when you fell off the selling into the truck, bro? Like, I'm like, I'm being completely honest with you. You're talking about some what are they gonna do next? What are they gonna do next? Have him fight some new people. What do you mean? Cause that's what I'm like. What what do you this got to be trolling because like he got to be trolling type shit. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, this is the, this is exactly what, what wrestling is supposed to be like the, the, the two year long journey to, to get to the top of the mountain. Like, and, and now you are like, well, if he beats him, what are we going to do? If he like, yo, Ben, yo, Ben, you hit it right on the, right in the middle. Like yo, straight head shot. <laughs> like, yo, what are you going to do if I do it? Then what? Who am I gonna fight now? I literally beat everybody already. All right. So who who's Cody's first uh opponent or first program after if if he wins, like who's who's a good first opponent or a good first program for Cody Rose? Him and Drew McIntyre is unifying them belts. Nah, no, 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 no. Another unification, especially this soon into having the belt. Nah. Uh, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Uh, I don't know. You, that's a good question because you you can't run it back right away with Roman. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm liking what um, Cromanaco is saying. Like, bro, you putting up numbers right now in the, in the chat. Uh, Cody versus Randy Orton. I mean, Nigga, like that could work. If Drew be if Drew smokes Seth, then they could send Drew to SmackDown and Cody to switch the belts because you know they don't give a fuck about them belts anyway. So like you know, what I'm saying switch them off, you know what I mean, and then have um Cody fight Seth. Well, no, Noel in the chat. Uh, Noel is uh suggesting Gunther. Um, I got one. That's a great idea. AJ Ooh. Styles. Oh, he has to go to SmackDown. Though. I mean, if he beats Roman, he goes to SmackDown. <laughs> That's why you. you That's yeah. where the belt is. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> So, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not mad at that one. I'm not mad at that one. AJ uh, Styles wrap, uh, tied uh, the you know the whole thing up with LA Knight at WrestleMania. He's still kind of pissed. He's like, "Yo, man, look, I don't know why I haven't had a, sh- a title shot in so long. When when am I gonna get a title shot?" Does AJ be LA? Also, you could play it off as two former like leaders of the Bullet Club. There's a lot of. It's a lot of. There's a lot going on. There. I don't know. No, see. Man. Because if AJ loses to LA Knight, which they're probably going to do, because LA Knight is, did you do Cody versus LA Knight first? I don't know about that. I mean, man. even I... if he loses, he's a heel, so he can still come back and be like, "Nah, man, is y'all he... was disrespecting me." Yeah, he's a heel. What do you mean? He's a... Is he a heel? Of course, yeah, he's a heel. Well, he's more. Well, well, Willow Nightingale's more of a heel than. All right, man. Maybe, yeah. no, I think maybe. I think it's more of what I think, <laughs> yeah, it's, right, I think it's more of what Bim was saying earlier about uh, logical heel turns. Like they're justified, and I, I believe that's actually the word that he used: justified heel turns. Because th- like it's not that they're wrong in their actions or the the way that they're feeling. It's just the way that they're going about expressing those things and the get back that they're trying to get off of how they. feel feel like they've been wrong you know what I'm saying? like that's what i'm getting out of it it's it's more of a a realistic view on and and not as uh over the top uh you know enhanced of a reaction it's oh this 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 and this happened so now i'm acting i'm acting brand new you feel me like drew's justified completely he's been screwed by the bloodline a handful of times you know, and he's lost to Seth a handful of times, but at the same time, like it's not like anything that he's saying is wrong. I wouldn't want to turn turn AJ Styles into it should have been me, Nick Namath. Yeah, 
Yeah. When, when, I, when, 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 remember when Kofi won that shit and it was like, well, who are we going to have this nigga smoke for six months? <laughs> yeah, you're right, too, because I, I think AJ's been losing a lot uh, as well. Like, I don't want to just keep feeding him a bunch of L's in, in high-profile programs, but I I don't know. He's at, I mean, like, is, is it? I don't really think he's really hurting him because he's at that point right now where it's like, yo, I'm going to pay it forward. I had my success. Like I'm on the I'm on my last contract. I mean, like, why not put some put some niggas over? Why not? Yeah, Cody got fight No, 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 no. Because no, I was no. about to say younger wrestlers, and I remember like, I'm like, Cody not that young. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Young enough, like, nigga. Yeah. Younger than most of these niggas over here. Cody's got a, a Wheatley vodka. He's joining the the American Dream team that they're promoting for. Uh, for yeah, what about Lashley? Is he on SmackDown? No, Lashley would be interesting too. Lashley you know would be man? interesting too. Him in the yeah, that would be. Like, I would. Be, I wouldn't mind something like that. Like I wouldn't. I hate turning niggas heels because y'all gonna love us anyway. But yeah, that would be something true. interesting. That's you know, I, I don't want to just like AJ's. Especially this is gonna be AJ's. Like this is gonna be AJ's last little fucking little run or whatever. So that's he's what got like. LA Knight at WrestleMania. Uh, yeah, he might put yeah. that nigga in the dirt. Actually, actually, when I think about it. <laughs> I'm hey, AJ fucking hey, style. listen, I don't know if I should say this, but I kind of feel like the same way I felt like Drew McIntyre last summer, get hot again. Hey, man, I don't know what to say, man. Like, LA Knight was popping. What happened? He's still popping. Pop what started. are you talking about? I just feel like, bro, they, they, there should be more momentum behind LA Knight right now, bro, bro. I feel he's like still, it's, he's still popping with the I crowd. Feel like, His I merch feel like still doing take, numbers. It's tapering I mean, like, off here, P. What are we doing? Like, how do we get to a, a, a singles match with him and AJ Styles out of you know the idea of? I mean, I guess that's that's me getting into fantasy booking again, thinking that. He was really gonna face Logan Paul at WrestleMania and be the one to take him, take the title. Uh, but hey, maybe maybe the idea then wasn't shit. We got SummerSlam in Cleveland, <laughs> so uh, okay. let's uh, let's use Logan Paul for some uh, local yeah. local promotion. You feel me to get I'm get people in the building? I'm gonna put this nigga in the Deshaun Watson jersey, and they're gonna be just fine. I'm telling you, bro. I'm I saying it again, not. Jameis Winston. <laughs> Jameis Winston is SummerSlam. He already out there working. He, he already he out there working. Usually, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, uh, oh, what do you guys think about... for WrestleMania. <laughs> what do you guys think about LA Knight saying that uh, business uh, was good about six or seven months before The Rock showed up and they're good with or without him? Uh, you can literally look that right. up and it says it. Like... <laughs> He like yeah. yo, it's the same thing that we said when when Vince McMahon left and they were doing numbers and people were like, "Well, they doing numbers now that he's back too." I'm like, "Yo, we proved that we don't really need this nigga like that." I mean, like a little boost helps, but I mean, like yo, anytime you got an opportunity to get the Rock back, you can get him back. Whether he does, whether he really is really, really, really doing numbers, or whether he brings in like an extra like hundred thousand, it's the Rock. I'm the Rock. It's the dude. Rock. <laughs> Hey, that nigga Kyle O'Reilly be fucking with me because he be throwing up the you know I mean with the. I'm like, oh, okay, it's the Rock. Uh, that's like that's like some GD shit. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if he wouldn't be doing that. I don't a lot. know if nigga want to smoke with that man. You Yo, Kyle, man, I think you need to relax man. a little bit. Hey man, but man, uh, y'all yeah, wrong side of Chicago with that shit. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Oh nah nah nah. Like, nigga, like yo, I think it was um. I think it was Dave Meltzer was like saying the same thing that you was saying, like, "Yo, man, this nigga not, this nigga not popping like that no more. The crowd don't give a fuck about him no more. You know why? Cause the real Rock is back. This man was oh. just copying him the whole time. I thought that's where you were gonna go with it. Cause I, was I wouldn't. Crazy. I would listen. No, 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 no. I wouldn't go that far. I, I like the promo that LA Knight cut. I think that his stuff is just different enough. But I feel like if you put them in the same space. It'll be a little bit too much. You feel me? I feel okay. like so you put yeah. him in the same space. You use Johnny Bravo bro. talking to Elvis, bro. Oh bro, Meltzer, Meltzer <laughs> is turning into the villain known as Cornette more and more every day. Like <laughs> he just, he just don't know it, man. Like sometimes, yeah. like like it's 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 hilarious. Like you seeing yourself become the villain that you hated the most, and 
Like everybody, oh. like everybody take like every everybody takes from everybody else. Everything repeats itself. Like everything, like I don't even know. Like like that's fucking life, nigga. Like what? Is, like, like all right, Dave. Like what the, who had the fuck you ever beat, Dave? Said Chase, yeah, you nigga. Uh, so. what did you guys um, what did you guys think about like the the tag team tournament? Uh, you know that's good. That's uh, I was gonna go there. Uh, okay, all right. I'm, I'm glad that you. I'm actually glad that you brought that up. Would you say uh, the Creeds CJ? got like the Creeds versus DIY was like like the bit. Shout out to Ben. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. The, the the overlord of the Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Who had to let you niggas know about the tag team division being rejuvenated by the Creeds, Judas and Brutus, and do it yourself, nigga. D I Y N. That's why I call him now. And yeah, nigga. Everything that you love in a in a in a tag team match that you love from the other place. <laughs> like just like yo, dual submissions, like dual pins and shit. And then like nigga was counting them both and shit. Like, yo, they gave you like, yeah, man. I need like that shit was that shit was the best shit I seen all week. The sense of urgency that they had with that finish, like I, I thought that was dope. You know, with the, like uh, them, like each team, like kind of like missing moves and dodging and breaking up, like you know, what I'm saying the roll up and the super kick into the roll up and that getting the one, two, three. I thought that was dope. Yeah, show the experience. Dope. You know, what I'm saying we're, we're like, you know, y'all brothers. I know y'all been brothers for life, but y'all ain't been a tag team for two <laughs> years. So uh, <laughs> we've been a tag team for like 15 years, big dog. You know, what I'm saying they won titles. So, so yeah, I thought that was kick. dope. Um, the field as of now is uh, Judgment Day, of course, defending against the New Day, Awesome Truth, who defeated Indy Shear, and uh, DIY, who, of course, we were just talking about the match with the Creed brothers. Um, I have a question. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I was mistaken. Why does Raw get four teams and SmackDown only get two? If this is a six-team match? Tell them, 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 give me some more tag teams from SmackDown. Uh, yeah, uh, you name some. I think, uh, I think SmackDown has one more team, and I think Raw has one more team. What? Uh, Nobody yeah, from SmackDown on is on the, in this match already yet. Yeah, you got to put the profits in there. Yo, know, like, oh, I want to. Yeah, because uh, you got you got Street Profits versus uh, Authors of Pain, and then you got um, LWO uh, versus. The other LWO, right? It, LWO Jr. No, no, LWO versus Pretty Deadly. I think SmackDown is running like a a, a two bracket tournament, like a LWO versus Pretty Deadly or something like that. So I, I don't I don't remember the the pairings of it, but LWO Pretty Pretty Deadly's in it. Um, I feel like the New Catch Republic is in it. Oh, uh, okay, boom, 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 boom. There you go. So it's gonna be. Uh, I don't know what the bracket is. I didn't. I didn't see a bracket for that for that one. But like any way you go, like I'm still, I'm still upset that the Creeds didn't make it in because that match was crazy, and I really wanted yeah. to see like the the Brutus bomb off of a ladder, and like I, I'm I'm pretty much torn up. But you know they gonna get their shot because I feel like every match that they have is literally a showcase for like why. They should be main event players in the tag team scene, like in the yeah. coming years, because you look at everything that they do. Like Julius Creed, uh, he went to do like that little um movie he has where he had the ankle lock on um Champa and Gargano mm-hmm. ran up to him when he was gonna do like the one handed power slam that he does. He caught him. He dropped, he yeah. dropped uh he yeah. dropped Champa's leg, caught him in midair, and was like, yo, the, the switch up right on the spot. I'm like, this guy right here, he he's he's gonna be something, man. He's good. You know, Judas and Brutus, nigga. It's crazy that uh, people are already plotting on a singles run for Julius the, the same way for years people have been plotting on a solo run for Montez Ford. But they're real brothers. Like, yo, stop trying to break real brothers up. All right. We need tag teams, man. Like, yo, damn, what are bro. we doing? <laughs> I didn't say now. I was just saying. I know, like, I know, but I'm just saying, like overall, in general, that, that's yeah, that's what people like, are saying. I wouldn't say family, and on top of I said people. I didn't say you. I said people. No, you know Ben. Ben, you hate family. You, you yeah, hate all bro. the Fast and Furious What's wrong with you? You hate Vin Diesel. Like you hate you, like, you hate you hate you hate that Wiz Khalifa song. See you again. Yeah, you, you hate, hate Proud uh, Family. You hate Oscar yeah, Proud. 
Oh man, you hate Family Feud. Now you love Family Feud. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your wave. You love Family Feud. Family Double Dare. Yeah, fuck Family Feud. Oh nah, nah, nah. We heard about we heard about Double Dare. That that Nickelodeon shit, bro. That shit's crazy. That's didn't happen to Keenan though. Right, we bro. don't know. We don't, <laughs> don't know, know what nothing, happened to him. <laughs> I I haven't finished watching it, but uh, from from nah, what I watched before, that shit's crazy. Me and me and the wife just started like a couple episodes the other night, and that shit is wild. They was like, "Hey, they were like, yo, what did you do when he was doing? What you do when Dan Schneider was doing all this wild shit?" They were like, uh, we thought it was weird, but we just went with it." I'm like, "Damn, nobody, <laughs> nobody Man. pulled him to the side. Was like, hey, bro, you wild?" And they was like, "We went, we just went with it." Money make people crazy, do crazy uh, stuff. I'm that should have been a Casanova fucking song. If, <laughs> if that have been, yo, but everybody get. Oh, my watch still on me. I uh, yeah. I don't know, man. That's gross. Anyways, prayers to everybody uh, involved. Yeah, for real, I'm definitely. That yeah, because that's just them niggas yeah. the classified niggas. Fuck y'all. Them niggas was tripping. Um, yo, the money niggas wait, wait, wait. was tripping. What? I want to give a. Uh, Go ahead. Hold my head. I'm gonna hold you. I'm saying I want to give a all right. I'm saying, like a Dawkins. I'm saying I heard he um, had a loss. I'm saying he lost his mother. And as a black man, there ain't no bigger. Like my heart just broke. Like cause like your you know, your mom's your everything. So like I'm praying for you. Praying for your family, man. And I'm sorry for your loss. We sorry for your loss, man. And we love you. And like man. I hate the fucking. I don't want to serious it out like that, man. But that shit just fucking like that shit kicked me in the stomach because like fuck. But I I agree. No salute and and definitely our our condolences. Just, I I couldn't even imagine. You know what I'm saying? I, I really couldn't. So like that's a pain that I I do not look forward to. Um and just something again that I couldn't I couldn't fathom. So our heart goes out for sure. Um, let's see. With uh, all that's going on with uh, NXT, you got uh, Trick Williams getting attacked by the uh, security and uh, Carmelo pulling a fast one. <laughs> that's what's the biggest shit. Like... <laughs> got the hots for Trick and all of that, man. Um, nah, what do you, what do you guys literally... think about? See, the, the hots. I just thing, said the hots. That's, yo, the that's hots, wild. Like, bro, this is some save. <laughs> you sound like saved by the bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the whole thing about like, uh, you nigga, nigga, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah. Nigga, I was just thinking about saved by the bell for a minute. Yo, I was like, why are you? I was like, yo, you this nigga is Zach. Nah, nah, saying the hots threw me off. I was like, hold on. The hots is wild, man. Yeah, I'm the hots are you. I was like, hold on. Yo, Zach, yo, Zach Morris was a fucking, yo, he is, yo, man, he was a fucking Evil. scumbag. Like, he was the original scumbag. That's crazy. <laughs> man. He was the real villain. Yo, he yeah. was he wasn't a real no, he was a real hero, nigga. Screech was the villain, nigga, because you, you know what I'm saying? You know, stop hating and get your money up, nigga. RIP, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Dustin Diamond, but uh, you know saying? your character was a bitch ass nigga. And, okay. Snitch but, uh, on anybody, but uh, like, yo, yo, you go ahead because I'm gonna get my thoughts oh, yeah. together. Hot, yo, bro. yo wow. Mello, yo, Mello just pulling the fast one on trick and then like thinking that he was the one underneath the hood where he was just like one of the security guards is just such some fucking just some evil nigga shit <laughs> she was like ha ha trick you nigga get it that's in your now name I remember, yo now I remember what <laughs> I was name, gonna say I, now I remember what I was gonna say this is from Shawn Michaels shit like Shawn Michaels has done this before and this is not the first time it's not the second time third time any of it where Shawn Michaels is like yo telling these wrestlers hey go out there and play the hits man hey Bro, like, you know who, what you like, should who, do you should go out you should go out and like nine uh, times yeah he's like yo <laughs> You know, he's totally like, yo, he's literally like just bestowed his entire like his, his entire catalog onto onto Carmelo Hayes, like the the leather jacket. This, I think, there's some other things where he was like, yo, go out there and play the hits, man. Remember when I did that shit? You go do that next, man. <laughs> Make it better. <laughs> take my beat. Take it to the next level. Yo, man. 
I like I'm I'm here for it, man. I'm here for the the whole like Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes storyline. I feel like they they did a really good job, and I didn't know like it was that they would be able to do that of like like lengthening the storyline from the whole like when he got jumped to now. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, the last time they tried to kind of like draw the storyline, like the the whole thing, like getting Carmelo Hayes to the match with with Braun Breaker felt like it took forever like for me it felt like it took forever to get Carmelo Hayes to the to the NXT title to beat Braun Breaker but this this to get to this storyline it felt seamless like you had enough for both men to do in that meantime and you kept everything alive I really I really enjoyed it this is this is going to be the match of the the night I'm sorry like to Tony D'Angelo and to you know the Ilya this is the (laughs) match of the night you about to beat the Baka sauce at your back of your head. No, this, no, this, like, th- the, the way that I feel about this mellow and trick um, match is what I should be feeling about Jay versus Jimmy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, th- like it just feels like it, like, it just seems so natural. Like, because, like, everybody's seen it coming, but then, like, because brothers always fight. Like, brothers fight. Just yeah. like, like, like we talked about that shit months ago. But it was like, blood when they do the like when they do the DIY breakup the same way with fucking which is black excellence in it, nigga. Like, oh my god, nigga, take this shit. Hey, hey, Mister Holidays, uh, did I did I yo for real? Did I say that if I said match of the night, I apologize. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's right. gonna be match of the show. Match of the afternoon. It's gonna be match of the show. <laughs> the match of the brunch. You know what I'm saying? Match of brunch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. No, this might be the match of the weekend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like, I think it's, but like, I think, like, I think, like, I'm calling it right now. Hot take, match of the weekend of the entire weekend is going to be Trick versus Mellow. Of the entire because weekend of the entire. That's crazy. I don't give a fuck about no story finishing because you said we already established that Graham, me, or you don't be reading. So, like, <laughs> nah, nigga, like, I never so, said like, that. Who, I like, I like, nigga, story, I like to read, to nigga. Nigga, I like, like to read. I'm not like, yo, I'm not like up in there like Uncle Ruckus, like, read, <laughs> nigga. Like, that nah. sounds like a lot. Like, I like to read, nigga. I promise you. <laughs> That's what you say to get out of fucking probation, nigga. Oh, God, <laughs> like, this, no, I think, like, I think it's going to be the match of the weekend. I'm calling it. Calling it now. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, All if right. you're calling it now, let's, uh, let's let the chat call, uh, call their shot uh we'll uh go ahead and open up the conversation for a q a uh for for a few minutes before we close out so uh if you guys got any questions or anything that you guys want to talk about or have us uh you know comment on before we before we jet uh time yeah, is now so uh, speak now or forever yeah. hold your peace because <laughs> we would have just no question the answer is no we would have done question of the week, but Kazim, <laughs> yo, man, hey, I'm not gonna, OG, I'm not gonna be there. Yo, but shout out to Kaz, uh, Wale Mania is gonna go crazy. You know, they got the, they still, they still announcing people showing up. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, we got, we got. A yeah, go ahead and uh, yeah, 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 do that. I, I like what Mister All Days Off said. Uh, do like a Q or put question uh in the in the comments so we know for sure that you're trying to we can line up because like uh you want to kick it off with um chroma knuckle bro in the chat uh what are you thinking about the the AEW product of the last four weeks i mean since uh since like they got the new like we talked about the like the little season premiere like the new little stage and the new little everything like that the new signings and shit like they've been they've been they, they rolling man like they, they like they are rolling like the like the gunplay song like they like it's just like you just gotta just keep building on what you've been doing so far but like ever since like the little change of the um like when they got the new uh when they hired the people to do like the uh the camera stuff and you know like the sting retirement shit was big and like they've been they've been they've been they've been batting a thousand man like some people want to think about oh my god what about the weekly numbers like who gets the fuck about the weekly numbers because you're still watching it on fucking internet anyway shut your mouth and, and none of these niggas got cable so 
like I think they're still rolling. So I'm rolling with that shit. Like I fuck with that shit. Like so just keep building on that shit and like hopefully Mercedes can get I'm saying get more um women on the shit so they can say check that box. You know what I'm saying? That's the only box you ain't checked yet. Um I think that uh I, I I don't know, man. Uh, AEW has been pretty interesting. I think with the, like I said earlier, with the the idea of getting these the three biggest stars from from these from these different countries, just trying to increase their global footprint, um, is a good uh, a good way to start off the year of what looks to be a promising year for AEW. Tony Khan was just talking about the idea and the possibility of have uh, having the pay per views and the that catalog and all of that on max um and how they're in discussions for that and he was pretty much leaning into the the idea of this is gonna happen but i i can't necessarily say anything yet and i have confidence in 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 you know in that happening uh at least at some point during this year uh, as they get deeper into negotiations and talks of what they're going to do with warner brothers discovery or whatever but um i think that um as far as TV wise, uh, I think AEW has been cooking. I, I do think with this influx of new talent that the AEW title has kind of got a little bit lost in the shuffle because one week Mercedes is the focus. Uh, the next week Okada is the focus. Uh, Adam Copeland and Okada just win titles. Um, you know, you bring in Will Ospreay. He's having dream matches and giving promos every week. And it's like, where's like where's the importance of the aw title and all of this it kind of feels like it's you know shuffling around a little bit and i think uh maybe after dynasty i'd like to see a little bit more emphasis put on that but um that's all i got yeah i couldn't yeah both of y'all yeah both of y'all hit it on the head uh with those like yeah they, they do need to like there's some like i like the the you know the change everything like that but there's you know it's still work to do uh, yo, shout out to Tony. Tony says, what do you guys think of Soul Ruka's return? Uh, Amazing! I think, I think I Soul you. is going to end up getting the push that uh, Nikita Lyons, like, that they had for her, and rightfully so. She like, if she got the in-ring ability, I feel like she could carry a story better than Nikita Lyons, mm -hmm. and I feel like Soul Ruka, the, the athleticism and everything like that, I feel like that's the way to go. I feel like that's the way. Soul Ruka got enough cool moves to... Uh... To, to to push it to the top and shit like that like the same way well i remember when um when the party girls now but when they first started running around together and i was like yo they, we should put the little nxt women's uh tag team titles on them immediately because they got all the cool moves and shit like cool moves that makes everybody look good and then doesn't hurt nobody will always get you ahead in life so yeah and then coming back from a knee injury you know what i'm saying like a little earlier than like i mean, it felt like yesterday that she got hurt and now she back doing her thing, like yo, man, shout out to Soul Ruka, you know what I mean? Like she, 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 she got, she got to drop a black, more black than Ronda Rousey, nigga. Like, I don't know what the fuck these niggas was talking about. Uh, like, let's see, let's see. Ken says, uh, "What do you guys think about? Uh, uh, yeah, what do y'all think about Minneapolis triple downing on bringing Mania Forty One over that way?" Oh yeah, I mean, there was that. It, uh, I was meant to say tripling down, but we'll let it pass. I mean, if you ain't got you ain't got to pay Kirk Cousins a hundred million dollars a year no more. You know what I'm saying? Might as well. Yeah, the Minneapolis they did do like a meeting where they were like where they were kind of like hinting. They were like, "Yo, we're gonna have an event coming in. Uh, it's gonna be like you know second only to like the Super Bowl, and it's gonna generate money for the city and everything like that." I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, Las Vegas, y'all gotta step in and do some underhanded shit. Y'all gotta do some like some con like borderline illegal shit to get that out of Minneapolis, cause like niggas is not feeling it. Y'all's going to Minneapolis for for WrestleMania and Cleveland for SummerSlam. Like nah, bro. Vegas, here's the plan. Bruno Mars owe y'all fifty million at the MGM. Go oh, ahead and yeah. offer up Bruno Mars. To be the halftime performer at WrestleMania. Bruno Mars, <laughs> Usher. You know what I'm saying? We got Bruno Mars. We got Usher. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have we got Cher lovers and friends. Do, we got lovers and friends. Yo, yo, Cher's gonna do. Do you believe in bro, love bro. after love? She's gonna do that shit. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. WrestleMania yeah, lovers and friends Papa. edition. Ludacris yeah. and Lil John pulling up too. Back yo, up, man. Up. <laughs> 
Shaw with it. Making Bruno, listen, just we, making we Bruno it. Mars go out on stage, look nigga against his will, nigga, nigga wearing rags, and he just got this man like, Hell hey, man. hey, do the shit with yo. Is what's his name come along? Is his buddy yeah, come along? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's coming up. Hey, he's bringing up cocaine. <laughs> do smoking out the window. With, with, do smoking out the window. Snoop Dogg gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? You gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? You gonna sing like? It's cause like remember, remember when, um, in the first Space Jam when it was like, yo, we're gonna put you in fucking in chains, Michael Jordan, and then you're gonna play one on one against every single customer and lose every single time. That's what they're gonna be doing with fucking Bruno Mars and Anderson Pop. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, half of this shit's on you, nigga. You the one that told me to bet on black, Anderson. Put hey, your glasses on. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that Bruno Mars had lost like he was fifty, he's like what fifty million dollars in debt. Before they said it was anything about like uh anything about gambling or anything like that, but that's still crazy. I was like, yo, is it drug related? Because this man was yo, I feel like yo, we already we already know what that man was doing. He was writing that out. Nigga, 50 million in debt worth of drugs, nigga. You'd have been dead, nigga. Like <laughs> Five thousand in debt, nigga. A nigga would have smoked. Lamar you. Odom, shit, nigga. Lamar Odom always had like an extra account on consignment to pay his dealer, nigga. Like, hey, but I'm gonna pay you, nigga. But the mother niggas, like, yo, take care of that for me. Like a gambling uh, debt, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do some stuff, especially with a big company like that. Like a drug thing, nigga. Like blood, nigga. We'd have been put you in the fucking. We'd have put you right next to Hash House of Go Go, nigga. Right in the desert, nigga. <laughs> It's like we uh, put you right next yeah. to the fat burger, nigga. <laughs> right in Harris, nigga. Fuck are you talking about, nigga? You'd have been, you'd have been ashes. You should have a elaborate entrance. Uh, Yo, let's get man, to the one. Uh, Gunther. Yeah, I'm picking Gunther. Uh, you didn't even read the question, bro. You can't do that. Yeah, he said, like, "Who should have an elaborate entrance?" Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Read it. Who should have an elaborate entrance, or should they have double entrances for Cody, Seth, and Roman? I mean, what more I, could you do with uh, Seth and like Cody? Like, Cody get all the shit anyway. Like, I want to get, the, I want to get that shit to Gunther, nigga. I want to have, I want to have him do the CEO thing, <laughs> and then it'd be, it'd be lit. Nah, I think like I think you could definitely do. I think I think Cody gets a, an elaborate entrance because uh, what did he he did just the fireworks last year, right? No, oh, just the fireworks in the in eighty two thousand seat stadium, you know. You can do like, bro. I hate that you try to downplay that shit. <laughs> like, try to try to make me sound like I'm an asshole for saying like, oh, it was just fireworks. It was More. Just fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna blow up the whole stadium, bro. Like, nah. Just, just half the like budget. So- <laughs> uh, a Michael Bay budget worth of fireworks. Oh, yeah, my God. Like, it feels like a Tarantino movie, nigga. <laughs> I, I feel like Cody has his regular interest, but I feel like, yo, we're in Philly. Have Sylvester Stallone do like a video package before the before he comes out and narrating and I like everything like that. I feel like like I just want to say is I feel like if you don't have Sylvester Stallone there or do anything, I feel like the, having it in Philly was a waste. You gotta have Freeway yeah, there to do Rock the Mic. You gotta have him do like the cold open or something like that. Um, let's see. Khalil says aside from Adam Copeland and Okada. Who do y'all see being the next new champs across AEW? Um, I think, well, in regards to the tag titles, we already spoke earlier. We said, no, I think we all agreed that we would like the Bucks to to win that one. Um, I would like to see, um, I would like to see a nigga like Hook get that, um, that international title off of um, Roderick Strong at, um, at some point. Hmm. Especially coming off of being the shed of Jericho, allegedly. I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting the young guys over. Look, I'm passing the ball. Look. Yeah. Look, I'm setting screens and everything. Look, <laughs> look at me. I'm being a good team player. A little, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm giving out motivational speeches, nigga. Like, nigga, like, come on, cuz. Look, you know look at me. I did my push ups. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you've been saying your friends eating your vitamins, Christopher. <laughs> I could see, I could see, um, I could see Willow getting that TBS title. Either Willow or Mercedes. Like I said last week, I think uh, there is a possibility for Mercedes Julia. to cut the line uh, for Julia. the TBS title. Julia, Julia like Liv Morgan right now, and it's, it's pissing me off. Yeah. Julia Hart's so fucking dope. Like, <laughs> like she's so fucking dope, and she got Sky Blue. Like Sky Blue turned heel out of nowhere, so why couldn't Willow? But like, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Like Willow getting one of them belts. Um. <laughs> uh, I can see Thunder Rosa getting her belt back. You know what I'm saying? Starting out with business as usual. I think she's there, John Moxley. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brick better come see, back and I do think, something, right? 
Yeah. I feel like I feel like now is like the moment where you need to strike on like Daniel Garcia. I feel like they waited a little too long when the when the dance and shit was when that was going on to, to get him involved with the TNT title and everything like that and like really bring him out here to the forefront. I feel like now is his time. I agree with that. Um, hey, yo, yo, Britt versus versus Tony Storm too will be is like something about that as a match or her taking the title from her. No, just, just her. This is them as a program, and then her taking the belt. No, that wasn't the question. If that happened. Okay. No, just so like, her taking the belt. Then that's yeah. what I asked you. Yeah, that's why I added on the end. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying <laughs> on the end. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the end. You know what I'm saying period. <laughs> yeah, in the end. In the end. We all me? die. 1017. Hey, yo. Hey, squad. shout out to shout out to is the Wiz. Enemies, what's happening? It's been a minute, y'all. Gang, hey, gang, gang. and y'all moved the day too. So now I'm caught up. Hey, it's really been a minute. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 you just catching on. We moved the day. It's really been a minute. Welcome Tomorrow back. Tomorrow's literally a day away. Which is today. Welcome back to the fold. Let's see. Let's uh, see. Welcome to the future. Your future your future drops tomorrow. Listen to this before you download yeah. the future. I saw a question that I really like. And I was oh. like, yo, man, we gonna get a little future on the field. That's my son. I'm like, yo, his name is Lil, literally Lil Future, Russ. Like, <laughs> when you wanna ease up, bro. That's what's funny. The, what's the video's gonna do? You gonna fight me? All right, then. <laughs> the Vegas. <laughs> nah, he not gonna fight you. He's gonna, he nigga, he gonna turn you to Swiss cheese. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> fight? <laughs> Uh, hit Big the action. like. Thank you, humble. Humble knows. Humble knows. She know hoop. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I just had Rob's question here. Rob says, uh, "Do y'all think uh, they should bring back the frequent takeovers for NXT?" Um, you know, I thought for a while that they were gonna bring those back, but I don't know. I feel like at this point, time's kind of passed on it. I think I feel like, a place now. yeah, if you're gonna do those, I really think like I'm. I think Shawn Michaels needs to resurrect the in your house shows. I know they did a the NXT takeover in your house, which like if you're really gonna bring them back more frequently, you can capitalize on that, and that's some shit that I feel like Shawn Michaels would do. Like mm-hmm. in your house, like uh just like every other month or something like that. Like you don't need to do a big rollout and big pay per view every week. You could even do you could even like change like in your house format to like special themed episodes to to keep it, you know, keep things special around. Um, I like the idea of them having like an all star Saturday night type shit, even though like pay per views on mm-hmm. Saturdays now. But like I like all like they move with the Sunday, like all star Sunday night where they can just play, especially to counteract like anytime the AEW does some shit, like throw it in your house on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, man, let's see who likes it better. Like they're gonna watch both anyway, because they can like they can rewatch our shit. Unlike you, you know saying stick the game up. But uh, I like that idea. Uh last question here. Uh David says, uh, what champions can y'all see retaining at Mania? Everybody but Roman. <laughs> uh honestly I would like to see Rhea retain at WrestleMania. I would no, like it, no, it, no in 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 emphatic fashion. Like I want her to squash <laughs> like I want her to be like one of them five minutes, just yeah. like move, move, move. Like Becky does like a drop kick and she tries to as soon as she tries to power up, nigga, the kick to the face. Nigga, like, nah, cuz get your <laughs> ass up. Get your ass up. You've been getting your ass beat this entire month. Like you've been really be treating me like I'm the, the back, like I'm the back wheel of the G Wagon. Don't be treating me like Roman over here, nigga. Like I've been defending my shit and fighting. <laughs> you think that you can have whole last last woman standing matches and shit? Yeah. And like you like that's like that's a slap in the face, cuz. Like, you know what and, I have to deal with? And so, I can yeah. see yeah. Logan Paul retaining, too. And Gunther. And Gunther, yeah. I can see all of that. You know, Gunther's like the Patriots. <laughs> Everything else needs to switch. <laughs> yeah. Everything else needs to switch. Drew needs to win. Uh, Cody way. needs to win. Bailey needs to win. Uh, them tag titles need to go to somebody else. Yeah, probably awesome and, truth. Uh, 
Yeah, unfortunately, man. Uh, nah, I nah. Out. I love this. This shit was fun. I really the awesome not. truth reunion, and everything like that. But Red y'all got ahead of y'all. So well, I was, bro, I was Zach like, Ryder. I was Zach Ryder when ladder match the exact same circumstances. And that too, shit man. was some ass too, man. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I didn't like that shit either. Hey, and not for nothing. I don't even remember. I, I think I was like late to watch that WrestleMania, and I didn't like. Look at the spoilers online. So when I didn't see that match, and I and the next day, like on Monday Night Raw, I think he came out like maybe like after they did the opening segment or whatever. Yeah, and I and was lost. like, Zack Ryder. Yeah. I was oh, like, Yo, he hey, was yo, tell me everything. You and then he lost right there. Oh, <laughs> Kevin Owens, give me that shit. Stupid. Take back season, Julio. All right, man, let's get up out of here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. It's been another fun week uh we will uh i don't know man we'll 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 we'll, uh we'll figure out what we're gonna do uh make some announcements uh coming up here in regards to next week's episode Uh, and uh you know what we're gonna be doing uh coming up for wrestlemania and uh all of that good stuff so uh stay tapped in stay tuned in to all the socials at the enemies p3 on all uh all platforms and all of that uh you can follow me at oh my god graham uh yeah, man, it's gonna be a good time. What you guys, uh, what you guys got? Uh, I'm me. Yeah, me. that's me. You, no, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, say I'm something me. stupid. Ah, oh, beat me too. Yeah, good shit, man. Good shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's me. Underscore, underscore. And yeah, man, follow me and us. But me first. Yeah, you can find me Twitter, Instagram, TikTok at underscore son of mine's underscore. Just uh, that's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. That's why. That's why your um, Texas Roadhouse experience sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 